Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.93 from Sadiku book and the question asks us to rework example 3.11 using hand calculation and the question is find I1, I2, and I3. Okay, so we have this circuit here. So we will decide whether we are going to use mass analysis or nodal analysis. If we use mass analysis, we will have four loops. One, two, three, four, and thus four equations. But if we do nodal analysis, we will have three nodes here. This is not A, not B, and not C. So we, we only have three equations, which hopefully easier to solve. And let's do that. Okay, let's first draw the currents and our assumptions. So I will assume that this current is going here, this current is going here, and this current is going here, and the label currents is lab is uh, left. I left it as is. So I1 is going down, I2 is going down, and I3 is going down. So now I will label this as I4, I5, and here I6. So our goal is find out I1, I2, and I3. Okay, now we take a look at node A using KCL. So KCL stated that the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Okay, now the current that goes in is this current, only I4, so I4. And the current that goes out is I1, I5, and I6. So let's write, let's write that, I1 plus I5 plus I6. Okay, now we take a look at I4, I4 here, this is VA, and let's assume the bottom node is a ground. So I4 is actually this node, which is 24 volt, because it's 24 volt from ground, minus this voltage here, so minus VA, divided by the resistance, 4 is equal to I1. I1 here, it's VA divided minus 0. So VA minus 0 is VA divided by 2. And now, uh, for I5, it's here. So we will have VA minus VB divided by 2. And then we will have this I6 here, which is VA minus VC divided by 1. And now we can multiply both sides by 4. So I will have 24 minus VA is equal to 2VA plus 2VA minus 2VB plus 4VA minus 4VC. Okay, now we will have... Okay, let's move the, the pot here. 24 minus VA is equal to... This is 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 4, it's 8. 8VA. And I can move this minus VA to the right-hand side, so... It's 9VA. And we still have this. Minus 2VB. Minus 4VC. Okay, let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, now let's move on to this loop here. I want to check at node C first. Because it is easier to calculate then not B. Okay, let's do KCL at node C. And the current that goes in is I5 and I6. So I5 
and I6 is equal to the current that goes out, I2 and I3. So I5, it will be VA minus VB over 2 plus I6 is VA minus VC over 1 and I2 I2 is VC over 8 and I3 is VC over 4 ok now let's do simple math by multiplying all of this by 8 so I will have 4 VA minus 4 VB plus 8 VA minus 8 VC is equal to VC plus 2 VC. Okay, now let's do algebra here. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 VA. And then, minus, v, minus 4 VB. We don't have any other VB here. And for VC, we will have minus 8, minus 1, minus 2. So I will have minus 11 VC is equal to 0. Okay, let's have this as equation number 2. Okay, now we still need to take a look at node B. But to do that, I don't want to look at node B as its own but I want to look at this voltage source so 3 V0 voltage source okay here if we take a look at this this will imply that Vc minus Vb is equal to v, 3 V0 3 V0 okay and now, if we take a look at V0, V0 is the voltage across this resistor. So, it is the same as Vc. So, I can rewrite this. Vc minus Vb is equal to 3 Vc. And I can rewrite this as Vb plus 2 Vc is equal to zero and let's save this as equation number three okay now we have three equations and three variables equation number one number two and number three okay i will erase the board and i will try to solve this three system of equations okay let's solve this system of equations so we will have three we had three equations and First, I want to take a look at equation number 1. So, I will just copy equation number 1. 9VA minus 2VB minus 4VC is equal to 24. And I want to take a look at equation number 3 but multiplied by 2. So, I will have this 2VB plus 4VC is equal to 0. Okay, now we can sum these two equations. We can add both equations. So, I will have 9VA and this will cancel each other. So, minus 2VB plus 2VB is 0 and this also cancel each other. So, I will have 9VA is equal to 24 or VA is equal to 24 divided by 9. Or this will be 2.6674. This is the value for VA. Okay, now let's insert this into equation number 1 and 2. So, if we plug this into equation number 1. We will have 9VA is 24 minus 2VB. Oh no, that is not good. 
I will I will use this one so if we plug this we will have equation number three so let's do another so let's make equation number two so 12 multiplied by 24 over 9 minus 4 VB minus 11 VC is equal to 0 and I can divide this by 3 so I will have 3 I will have 8 and I will have 3 I will have 4 so 32 yeah I will have 32 minus 4 VB minus 11 VC is equal to 0 and I can move the this one to the right hand side so 32 is equal to 4 VB plus 11 VC okay let's save this as equation number 4 okay I will have equation number 4 as 4 VB plus 11 VC is equal to 32 Okay, let's erase all this and solve for VB and VC. So now we only need to take a look at equation number 3 and 4. And before we will, we have VA is equal to 24 over 9 volt. So let's save that. Save that. So I only need to take a look at this. And equation number 4 is 4 VB plus 11 VC is equal to 32 and now I multiply equation number 3 by 4 because I want to remove the VB from the equations so I will have 4 VB plus 8 VC is equal to 0 and I can subtract this equation so I will have minus and here I will have 3 VC is equal to 32 or VC is equal to 32 over 3 okay now we will ha we have VA and VC 32 over 3 fold and from here we can calculate I1 I2 and I3 for I1 I will have VA divided by 2 which is 24 over 9 divided by 2 so here so 24 divided by 18 so what is this this is 1.333 ampere okay and I2 I2 is, is actually VC divided by A. So I will have 32 over 3 divided by A. So I will have this is 8 and this is 32. So 4, 4 over 3. And this will be 1 over 3, 3, 3 ampere. And for I3, it is VC divided by 4. So I will have 32 divided by 3 times 4. And I will have 8 here. So 8 over 3. And that will be 2.667 ampere. And this is our final answer for I1, I2, and I3. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes. And thank you for watching.